Okay, we've got a new situation that's come up. We have to go pick up a 31 foot long uh, hoist system and our trailer is only 20 foot long. So what we're going to do is we're going to make ourselves a little uh, uh, hoist that's going to fit on our trailer. We'll be able to pick up the end, swing it around to the back of the truck so that we can get the back end of the hoist onto our trailer. So, to our machine. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be slotting this tube four inches back, two inches wide, and we're going to put a, a channel in there, and that'll be the head of our hoist. And we'll set that on a steel tube that'll be fastened to the back of the trailer, uh, about nine foot tall, and uh, uh, we'll be able to have an arm that will stick out far enough to grab the, the uh, uh, other hoist and lift it and bring it over, uh, swing it one end over onto the truck. Well, the back end we'll have on wheels, we'll slide it over, put it onto the uh, 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 ramps on the trailer, and be able to roll it up as we're swinging the front end around onto the truck. So that's what the theory is, that's what we're going to do. So he's going to go ahead and cut this. He's got a one inch cutter in here, and he's going to cut a, a notch into it four inches deep. So go ahead and get that done, Piper. Other direction, buddy. Just keep feeding it. Out. I'll bring her over and make our next cut. Okay, here we go on our second cut. Very 
So now we have ourselves a four inch slot in that puppy. Then we'll be able to put a, a two by four tube steel in there. That'll, at the end of it we'll have a hoist. We'll be able to lift the hoist that we're, we purchased for our shop. A 31 foot hoist we're actually going to cannibalize. We're going to use a piece of that for a rack and then the, we're going to use about 10 or 11 feet of it for our uh, for a hoist uh, over this machine and our, our lathe. So, did we achieve our goal, goal here? So we're going to try to put a 2x4 tube in here and see if it works. And that works just perfectly. It's just what we wanted to do. Of course, the tube that we're going to put in it's going to be much longer than this. Okay, very good. We're cutting a two and a half inch circle, or thereabouts. It's plugged into that uh, part that we've already slotted out. What we got here? Let's see what we get. The radius is made. I'm gonna back this. Go ahead and loosen you up. I want to have it just a little bit over two and a half inches. We got the mic. So this is what we made. Uh, we need it just a little over two and a half. Two point five nine nine. So that'll give us a little bit to cut down. We've got about a uh, tenth to cut down. So let's go put it into the lathe. And we'll trim her down. Okay, what we have here is we have a uh, the. Uh, Current round stock that we have is at about 2.58. We need it at 2.48 in diameter. So we're going to take this down with the lathe to, to true it up. We'll true up one side right up to the jaw chucks, uh, just past the quarter inch mark. We've got it marked on the lathe as to how far we need to go without hitting our chuck. So uh, we're going to go ahead and do that. And then we're uh, we're going to trim that down. And uh, then we'll reverse it. To the other side.
Okay. There we go. Did you find it? No, I didn't. Okay, let's get some light up here. So anyway, you might be wondering, why are we doing this? Why didn't we get some round stock? I didn't have any two and a half inch round stock. So thus, we, use, we cut our own round stock. Now we're trimming it down to the dimension that we want. right there. We don't have a DRO or anything like that so every cut is kind of a guess. I didn't put an indicator on this and of course we're not dealing with I don't have to be that exact I guess. We're going to just weld it into that tube. There we go. We're there. We're a thousandths off but that's okay. A little bit, a thousandth of an inch uh, isn't bad for this old thing. Now we'll take this puppy and turn her, turn her around and cut the other side. Okay, right here is the plug that we made. And as you can see, that fits there just beautifully inside there. Tap it down flush with that and we'll weld that in. And that'll be uh, a the cap for the uh, so it can go over the uh, two and three eighths tubing that I've got. Uh, and I'll take you back. We did this, like I said before, on our trusty old Oliver lathe. This is a woodworking lathe, and uh, we were able to uh, machine that round on this lathe here. Uh, pretty accurate as well, but. Uh, got kind of a unique setup here. This is our Ajax milling machine. And what we've got this at is a 15 degree angle. I took uh, this off of our Monarch lathe and uh, run this pipe in, leveled it with my stair at 98 and uh, then just uh, you can see this here is a pipe wrench. Just hooked a pipe wrench to it and slowly fed it into the, the uh, cutter head to get a 15 degree bevel. Let me see if you can see that in there. There you go. Inside that uh, tubing. And the uh, purpose of that is so that we can put this uh, bearing in there. That other part that we did, it'll have the cap on it, will sit right on top of this, and that bearing will allow it to spin. Uh, of course, this is crude. This is not precise. Uh, we're uh, doing this for a temporary hoist. So, uh, obviously, it doesn't have to be super precise. It just has to last uh, one job, basically. And then... Uh, uh, we'll be uh, done with that. But it did a nice job. I don't know if you can see the cut in there. Real nice. Even cut in there for the bearing to ride on. Uh, we'll probably grease that up real good before we run it in there. And what I did is I turned my uh, head on my uh, Ajax to 15 degrees and uh, just used a, the same one inch cutter that we were using to make those uh, round parts with and uh, was able to uh, accomplish uh, what I desired to do with it. Now this is what we've been working on for the last couple of days. The, this is uh, the base, not really the base, but where it will insert into the pole. And that's the whole length of it right there. The hook at the end will hold the, uh, the hoist that we're going to put on it. And again, this isn't to pick up a whole lot of weight, but uh, uh, what we've got to load is very awkward because of its length. It's 31 feet long. It's a 6 inch I-beam and uh, 
so it uh, makes it a little bit hard to get on so uh, and we won't have a forklift or anything there so uh, we're building up this uh, little device so we can get this loaded this is what we uh, built it's a kind of a, a crane sort of a thing that's on our flatbed trailer and this will help us to get the uh, hoist that we're picking up onto the trailer okay this is what we built that hoist up there for it's holding the end of the uh, 31 foot hoist that was in a uh, shop uh, the other end the legs broke off as we tried to move it around and lift it so uh, which is fine because I'm going to be cutting this down into a shorter length we're going to be using about 22 feet of it for to support a shop rack and then the balance of it is going to be used for uh, a hoist over my lathe and uh, milling machine uh, to move the heads and that sort of thing so that's what we spent the time building that little crane for and it worked out really handy other than the fact that the legs busted off of the 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 uh, trolley which you know surprisingly <laughs> It hadn't been moved ever before, I don't think, but uh, it wasn't very well welded. The back side is well welded. We checked out the welds on that, and it's this going to hold just fine for the trip home. Um, the, uh, we've got the back stacked on our ramps and up against the back of the trailer here. So that's how we're going to haul it. Uh, and uh, you can see the welds are a lot better up on that. The other side, they were almost non-existent. You can see on the ends of the tubes here uh, that were part of the legs for the other end. And it wasn't very well welded. It, it's very ugly, actually. And uh, so this is all the stuff we brought with us to, to load it. Uh, we were happy to find out that... Uh, once we got this front end lifted and the legs fell off of it that the uh, they had a forklift around the facility it's all closed down this is an old golf course that uh, they're closing down big Quonset for where they kept their uh, repaired their equipment here uh, this was uh, part of uh, Vandenberg Air Force Base it was a golf course here at the base uh, that they used and uh, they closed it down last year and uh, so they were selling everything off so <laughs> so here we go this is what we came down for <laughs>